everyone, it's Alessandro Broxel from Home Chef Seattle. I've showed you before how to make pomaxim and also how to make window pane potato chips. What we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be combining both techniques and making some window pane pomaxim with herbs. I hope you enjoyed, and if you do, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. First, I'll head to the garden for some fresh herbs. I'll be using some tricolor sage, some oregano, rosemary, some parsley flowers, and parsley. So, we got our herbs. Next thing you'll need are potatoes. I like to use small yellow potatoes. They're the perfect size and you won't be wasting any as you would with big potatoes and cutting in small circles. Slice the potatoes using a mandolin at the thinnest setting. Slices should be less than 1 mm in thickness. Next, separate the potatoes matching two slices of same size. Sandwich the herbs between the two slices and press it down lightly. The starches in the potato will hold the slices together once they bake. Place the herbs right in the center, as the edges of the potato will be overlapping later. Line a baking sheet with a non-stick silicone mat or parchment paper and brush it with melted clarified butter. Then, arrange the potato slices with the herbs in a circle shape, overlapping each slice. Next, press it down with some paper towel. This will dry the potatoes and help them adhere to each other. And then brush the top side with the clarified butter. Sprinkle with some salt and cover it with another silicone mat or parchment paper. Add another heavy tray or a fill on top to weight it down, and then bake it in a preheated oven at 370 Fahrenheit (190 Celsius) for about 15 to 18 minutes. Give it a check around 12 minutes or so, because the time can vary depending on the thickness of the slices, the oven, and the tray used. Remove it from the oven once it starts to get golden and crispy. That is it! Two different techniques combined to make some beautiful window pane Paul Maxim chips. I hope you have enjoyed the recipe, please don't forget to like it, Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.